Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be doing just a quick start guide to starting a forecast within your Salesforce org. I am planning on doing a crash course that is pretty comprehensive on forecasting. So if you would like to see that, let me know and I will get started planning on it. Also, let me know what you'd like to see in there if there's any specifics that you would like to see. From here, so we're on the current homepage, you do need to go into setup. and then search for forecast, forecast settings. Okay, one thing is that you do need to enable forecasting. I've already enabled it, but it's just a quick toggle and then you should be able to see the forecasting settings here. So I'm gonna create a forecast type and there's a pretty nifty difty pop-up that'll come up that will help you get started. So let's go ahead, we're gonna pick an object to forecast on. You can do this opportunity or opportunity products. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do forecasting. Personally, I wanna do this on the revenue side rather than like a opportunity product quota side. So rather you're selling a certain amount rather than you are selling, I guess I should say a certain amount or doing a certain amount in sales rather than selling a certain amount of product. So I'm gonna go opportunity here and then we're gonna specify a measure. So I'm gonna do amount rather than quantity select a data type, close date, choose a hierarchy, and then we can add any optional filters that we want. I'm just gonna leave this how it is. You can always come back and edit this out. I'm just gonna say revenue based forecasting. All right, and now we can go ahead and Look at all these different things and see if we want to change anything. I'm gonna hit save here. And we can choose what we wanna see for the different rows and such. And I'm gonna hit next and done. And now we do need to activate this forecast. So I'm gonna hit activate and there we go. We can go over and look at forecasts here. I might need to refresh this. Nope, we are good. So now we can see we can come in here and go ahead and forecast based upon the different users and the different roles. Um, I currently have no records in here um, just because of the data, how I'm working with it. But if I were looking at another user, then they would be able to see that. But that is very much a quick start guide to forecasting. Again, there's other settings that you can change and move around, mainly if you wanna go for a more product-based forecast setting of how many products are we going to be selling. Um, that would be more geared towards a manufacturing setting or a manufacturing industry, such as like we want to sell 100 generators or 50 medical devices that could help you in determining how many products you need to manufacture. But if you're selling more of like a SaaS product or a digital product, you're gonna to wanna to go with the more revenue-based approach. So just understand and do a lot of BA work up front to make sure that you are creating the forecast to match the needs of your company. So with that being said, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can check out the courses down below or on salesforceupskill.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.